hey guys welcome back to erich's diary if this is your first time here hi i'm success and you're welcome to my channel this is just a quick update so i might not do so much talking. i was in hungary it was more like i was at home like i really wanted to like this is me like figure out what to do with your life what's next yes we've entered we've tried to settle down but sometimes the whole drama the whole things that happened just comes back to my mind and i just feel so sad like because we actually had plans on what to do when you're done with school so that was one of the things that made me not like just run into the road because i didn't want anything to make me to go back to nigeria i was very careful about that because even after graduation i didn't want to go back to nigeria so i was trying not to like enter a place that would make me to go back home so yeah I was in Hungary and I was tired of being at home. It felt like I was with my parents. I really wanted to like go out there, think of what to do. And then the conditions in Hungary wasn't favorable like with what I want. So we heard that oh Germany has opened their border for refugees from Ukraine. So I and my friends we put our head and <laughs> made every inquiries and we left. So guys, we just got into Germany. Passau. I don't know if I pronounced that, but the girl finally found sleep and that was when they woke me up. That the immigration officer was supposed to check our documents. And now I struggle to find another sleep. I'm not enjoying this journey. It was not that easy. It was not easy. I won't lie. So yeah, this is me taking the 24 hours COVID test to enable me enter into the refugee camp. We've heard that people have been in the camp for more than a week, two weeks. But I want to thank God that I and my friends we spent just the night in the camp. In this camp, there are rooms, bathrooms, toilets. This particular building, this particular place you guys can see is the place to get yourself registered and get your one year permit. You can see the crowd in this place waiting for their turns, and. We waited for five hours, in fact, more than five hours. And that's me carrying sandwiches because I was getting hungry and frustrated. Food was the only thing that could keep me company. We kept on waiting until it was our turn and we finally got our permit. So, yeah, I'm in Germany now and the German government also, they gave us like a place to stay, free transportation, but not for long. It's going to expire soon and even if we start paying they reduced our own bus fare monthly allowee <laughs> and the the one year permit can actually allow us to work if you want to work you can look for a job the only thing is you need to learn the german language but there's 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 work like if you want to work i think from now i'll start uploading videos of different things yeah you know i like vlogging so you might see vloggings makeup because i won't lie i took some of my makeup things but i noticed that i did not carry the right things when i put my hands inside my box i found out that, that <laughs> i carried rubbish so i'm still trying to like get some things gradually baby steps like get back on my feet and yeah so that's it for now so thank you if you stayed up to this time in my video thank you so much see you guys in my next video so don't forget to like subscribe and comment just tell me things you want to start seeing in my video please guys subscribe to my channel your girl is on her way to 1000 subscribers